Have you ever wondered what everyday life is like in Japan? If so, well, nothing gives a more accurate portrayal of it than the Yakuza game series. Okay, well, maybe there's some artistic license when it comes to the boss battles. But a huge selling point for the series has been that the games take place in the real world, in real cities across Japan. Yakuza Like a Dragon, one of the newest entries in the series, takes place in Yokohama, a city with rich cultural heritage influenced by its history as one of Japan's first ports to open to foreign trade in the 19th century a perfect setting for a game about the criminal underworld of Japan. What makes this even more interesting is that I live in Yokohama. So how about we check out the game together and find out how realistic the world of the game is compared to the real world. And uh, who knows, maybe we can even navigate in the game world just by knowing where things are in real life. I'm not gonna go too deep into the game in order to not give out any spoilers and to keep those of you who haven't played it on the same page. Yakuza as a series is probably easiest explained as Japanese Grand Theft Auto with excellent writing. The game can be extremely ridiculous. <laughs> and super serious at the same time, without ever feeling like it's too much one or the other. It's a tonal balancing act, which the games do perfectly. I have been playing the game for about 3 to 4 hours now and I just finished the prologue and actually so far I am really surprised. The story is super good and I'm much more into it than I was expecting to be. In the prologue I got betrayed by my own people, I had to go to jail and now I have lost everything and I just arrived in Yokohama. My mission right now in the game, in order to survive, is to look for coins under these vending machines. But before I do that, I just wanna see, could I possibly know where I am? So the first thing we gotta do is to look for landmarks and other clues to find out where we are. And uh, actually I have to say, this river looks extremely familiar to me. If this is the river that I think this is, uh, Sakuragicho Station should be on the right here. And oh, oh, oh. Yep, I was right. And I immediately spotted the Cosmo clock over the buildings. It's a huge Ferris wheel that's also the world's largest clock right next to the Sakuragicho Station. Now this, this is pretty crazy. Uh, I've played those games that take place in the real world before, like GTA 5 and whatever, but I've never been in those actual places in Los Angeles and whatever, so I don't know how actually realistic they are, probably not too, but now to play a video game and immediately know where I am in the map, it, I don't know, it feels so crazy. I'm, I'm so excited to check out how actually realistic these places are. Let's check out more. Actually, I would wanna, I just wanna see. On the right side, uh, there should be Kanai Station. Uh, but I don't know, there's not really any large landmarks, but uh, let's see. But, oh, oh, there is the is the arcade thing. The I don't know, it says Pia here, but I don't know what it is in real life, but it's there. It, this is Kanai Station. Well, it actually said Pia even in real life. And it wasn't an arcade, but a pachinko parlor right next to Kanai Station. It took me a while to find it, but I was actually able to find the exact location where the game starts off. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? I just got a mission to help out the snack bar in the snack alley in Yokohama. And I have to say, this looks really, really good. This is pretty much how it is in real life. After playing this game, walking these streets feels kinda surreal. I mean, you can see yourself how extremely well this is done. 
I could have never imagined I would be able to beat up people by summoning pigeons with bread outside my house in a video game. So these are all here snack bars, and if you're wondering what a snack bar is, it's basically halfway between a regular small bar and a hostess bar. I guess that would be the easiest explanation. Usually it's a bar whose owner is uh, like an old mama who kinda keeps you entertained. Majority of the game takes place in Isezaki-cho shopping street, which is quite accurate to real life. Isezaki-cho is an older, I'd say more underground area, meaning that you'll find more shady Korean and Chinese stores in here rather than Apple stores. Many of the missions that take place in the game happen in real life stores and locations. Only the names of the places are different, but other than that, if you play the game a lot and then travel here, you know your way around the streets quite well. Just don't expect there to be as many fights with Japanese businessmen as there are in the game. Hey, would you look at that? They even put me into the game. The game map is obviously not identical to real life, but all the larger landmarks are where they should be and many of the smaller streets even make it into the game. The map in the game feels like a dream. What I mean with this is that when you're playing, everything feels accurate. Just like when you're dreaming, it feels so real. But when you wake up, you realize all the ridiculous things. In the same way, once you go to the actual locations, you realize that even though the game is very realistic, there are many adjustments made. I was running around doing the main quest and I realized I am actually in Kannai Station. A station I know very well, even though I don't go there often. So I just want to see, like, where can I go from here? I know that Chinatown is very close by. Uh, like... Maybe this way? And there it is. Uh, it's pretty easy to find since Chinatown in Yokohama has those big gates in the entrances. So let's go see inside. Now I know very well where we are since uh, you can see the gate there. That's the entrance to the further, like the main Chinatown. And I think if we go left from here um, we can find uh, Yamashita Koen, which is the uh, Yamashita Park. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know this can happen. Come on, wake up! Yamashita Park is probably the most accurately done place in the game, and it's a marvel to look at. Everything is where they should be, and the developers clearly put some love into this area. And no wonder, it's one of my favorite places in Yokohama too. I go here quite often. Th this, this is fun to play. And here we have one of my favorite sites in the game world and in real life. From here you can see the whole Minatomira area, so the Ferris wheel, landmark tower, the hotels and uh, actually I don't know what this building is, I've never, <laughs> never checked out what it is. I, I haven't cared that much, but maybe I should now because uh, I'm doing a video like this where I'm supposed to know these things. Apparently it's a ferry terminal. <laughs> the more you know. I've had a blast playing these games and my advice to you is that if you're ever thinking of coming to Yokohama or the Kabukicho area in Tokyo, check out the Yakuza series. You'll know your way around much better. <laughs>